Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Alabama-style white barbecue sauce. That's right, do not adjust the color on your monitor. Believe it or not, this barbecue sauce really is white. And while Alabama may be better known for its picturesque swamps and affordable moonshine, in my opinion, this amazing concoction may be its finest offering. So let's go ahead and get started. And the good news is this is a very, very simple recipe that really only takes a couple minutes to put together. So first up, we're gonna put a couple cups of mayonnaise in a mixing bowl. And sure, you should probably make the mayonnaise homemade, but I'm not going to, so I will not make it mandatory. And then to the mayonnaise, we're gonna add some kosher salt, as well as a whole bunch of freshly ground black pepper and some cayenne. Oh, and you know we're serious when we spoon it in instead of shake it in. And then after the cayenne, we want a little bit of garlic powder, which really should be nothing more than pure, dried and powdered garlic cloves. And then what may seem like somewhat of an unusual ingredient, a big old southern sized spoon of horseradish. Some nice extra hot prepared horseradish, which is gonna do some strange and wonderful things in this. You'll see. And then let's also go ahead and toss in a spoon of yellow mustard. And why not Dijon? Because Alabama. Although actually, truth be told, there is no mustard in the original recipe. And then to finish this sauce off, we're gonna need some acidity, which is gonna come in two forms. We're gonna squeeze in the juice of one lemon, and then we'll also be adding a very generous amount of apple cider vinegar. And if this looks a little cloudy to you when I pour it in, that's because I'm using one that's unfiltered and unpasteurized, which apparently is much, much better for you, for reasons I really don't have time to explain or actually know. But anyway, we're gonna pour in some apple cider vinegar and that is pretty much it. And at this point, we'll take a whisk and mix this thoroughly. And I should probably mention that most of the white barbecue sauces I've seen that claim to be authentic are much thinner than this but I do like mine to have a little bit of thickness to it. I want it to be able to cloak the meat and not just run off. So let me go ahead and grab a ladle so you can see the texture. And you can see right here the viscosity I go for. And obviously you're gonna give it a taste and adjust as needed. Do you want it spicier? Do you want it saltier? Do you want it tangier? That's all up to you. You are the boss hoss of your white barbecue sauce. So you really should tailor this to your tastes. But anyway, once our sauce is mixed up and tasting awesome, we can simply wrap that up until we're gonna use it. And you can definitely make this days ahead, no problem. And then like all great barbecue sauces, once it's made, it can be used in three different ways. The first of which would be as a marinade. So on this particular day, I had some bone-in chicken thighs, which as you know, I like to slash down to the bone in a couple spots to aid in the absorption of flavor. And we'll go ahead and we'll spoon over enough of that white sauce to generously coat. And we'll give those a toss. And then we would simply wrap that up and let it marinate in the fridge for anywhere between, I would say, four hours and overnight. All right, so that is the official use number one. And then, of course, once we've marinated chicken, we might as well grill it. So the second use of this would be as a basting sauce. And like basting with most barbecue sauces, we're gonna wanna do this towards the end of the cooking, and we will brush that on both sides. So I'm gonna brush it on the skin side, as well as the meat side. And in case you're wondering, no, it doesn't stay white. You'll see as I flip this over, that skin side that had the first application has seared and caramelized on there beautifully. So I went ahead and I gave both sides a couple bastings, which brings us to the third, and my personal favorite use, is a table sauce. Or if you want to sound more highfalutin, finishing sauce. So I brought that chicken inside and served it on a beautiful shaved carrot salad, also known as shaved carrots. And we'll go ahead and ladle over that beautiful white sauce. And one quick but very important safety tip. If you're gonna use this as a sauce over the top of your cooked chicken, that sauce cannot have come in contact with any raw chicken or any utensils or brushes that came in contact with raw chicken. All right, we wanna give our guests a unique regional culinary experience, not a unique regional foodborne illness. So please be careful. But anyway, we're gonna spoon over that sauce and we'll finish off with a little Alabama parsley. Whoops, I got too much on one and none on the other. So let me fix that. If I didn't have to take pictures, I wouldn't have bothered but I did, which wasn't easy because I really wanted to eat this. So I stopped and added some more sauce because it's so good. And I went in for the official taste, which was amazing. That sharp tanginess really works with that beautiful smoky meat and that little bit of kick from the peppers and the horseradish really is so interesting. It sort of kind of reminds me of those North Carolina vinegar-based sauces. And yet this one has a whole extra level of richness thanks to that mayo. So it may be a little bit of an unusual color, but it is just an absolutely wonderful barbecue sauce. In fact, for some people, this is so addictively delicious 
that if you eat it regularly over a prolonged period of time, and then you all of a sudden stop, you can actually get what they call the Alabama Shakes, which I believe is how the band got that name, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, that's it, Alabama style white barbecue sauce. While I used it on chicken this time, it is equally amazing on things like ribs or even pulled pork, pretty much any fatty meats will do. So I really do hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.